Britain today is something which is much more bigger, much more ambitious. And the countdown is presently underway. So India hopes to launch Chandrayaan 2 by 2.43 p.m. In, in about another two and a half hours time from now. And I'm told that we're also joined in by Dr. Uzi Rubin, who is an expert on missile defense, and he's joining us live from Israel. Thank you very much indeed, Dr. Rubin, for joining us on this broadcast and beyond. And let me begin by asking you this. What India is attempting today is essentially a soft landing on the southern pole of the moon. Uh, you know, give us a sense of how difficult a mission like this is to accomplish, considering the fact that only three other nations in the world have done this successfully so far. Yes, I think that uh, the attempt is very ambitious and uh, what uh, India achieved up to now uh, is very impressive by itself, quite a score. I think the discovery of uh, water in the southern pole of uh, uh, the moon was one of the most fundamental uh, discovery in uh, the whole space program and gives hope for a permanent settlement uh, of uh, space uh, base, uh, moon base for humanity. Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with uh, the achievement, uh, very impressed with the launch vehicle itself, the GSLV-3. Uh, it it's looks very businesslike. And on par, same quality, uh, same level of sophistication as uh, all the rest of the contenders uh, to come the moon, to, to the moon. And as you know, uh, India is uh, actually, I won't say in a race, but in a friendly race mm -hmm. with uh, many other uh, countries and entities, not countries. We have only now, now we have private companies trying to land on the moon, at least two of them in the United States, uh, Blue Origin and SpaceX. Plus, uh, NASA itself, uh, we're talking about um, China. So there is quite a race going on, and I think it's, India is doing very well. Absolutely. It is indeed a race to space. And one of the reasons as to why India actually stands apart in, in, in this race to space is because of the economy with which India is able to accomplish these very complex space missions. Now... If we were to look at Chandrayaan 1 and also at Mangalyaan that India launched, you know, the fact of the matter is it, it turns out that India's space missions are cheaper by a factor of almost about 10. And how, how important do you think, Dr. Rubin, is that? This is, this is quite amazing. Uh, I looked up the numbers yesterday and uh, I, uh, I see the price of a launch, which is uh, in just uh, two numerals in uh, millions of dollars. And uh, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, space uh, space uh, travel is uh, much about economy. Mm -hmm. uh, when space program started, you couldn't put a, a kilogram in lower orbit for less than ten thousand dollars. Right. Uh, I think that India is now uh, breaking it down to almost uh, one order of magnitude, and and this is uh, quite not noticeable. This is a real key. I mean, technology. Uh, the key is technology, of course, but the key is value engineering. How you can do it at high technology at low cost. Once you do it low cost, uh, be, um, space becomes accessible. And, and this is a breakthrough. Absolutely, indeed. And also, Dr. Rubin, considering the fact, you know, you pointed out at how space is, is now increasingly getting populated by some of these private companies. We've got SpaceX, we've got Blue Origin and, and other similar such companies that are planning to come up. But my question to you is this. You know, do you think India is now at the cusp of commercially, in fact, being able to, you know, harvest its uh, expertise in, in putting out these very complex missions in space? Uh, well, I think the return to the nation shouldn't be count just only in terms of dollars and cents or rupees. Mm -hmm. The return to the nation, uh, the great return to the nation is, is on two levels. Right. First, it enriches the human uh, uh, manpower, the human resources of the nation, uh, going to the, as, as Kennedy said, uh, going to the moon is done not because uh, it's it's easy, but because it's difficult. And uh, that's that was his famous announcement of going to the moon. I think it was very profound. Mm -hmm. It's it's difficult, and that's the challenge. You graze a whole generation right. of highly technological, capable, capable young people by giving them a challenge to go to the moon. And they put, I know, I've been in a space program, I know how, uh, how involved everyone gets in that, how it, it, it takes out the best in human beings, the best in engineering, and really it raises the level of your nation. And, and, and the other is uh, national pride, uh, national prestige. Uh, Absolutely. And, 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 and uh, it has a pecuniary angle too, because 
when you are an advanced nation uh, with good uh, human infrastructure, you also attract uh, investment and you also attract internal investments. You increase and raise and enhance your economical position in the world. Absolutely. So it's a good thing from all sides and it kills no one. It's not a war. It's a friendly race. I think it's one of the best uh, endivores in human, uh, the best of human endivores is to Absolutely. do space races and enhance humanity with that. Absolutely, indeed, uh, Dr. Rubin. And also, Dr. Chetanya, if I can, you know, get a last word in from you. You know, it is indeed a matter of huge pride for India. We are waiting for the countdown. The countdown is presently underway. But, but give us a sense of, you know, this is something that is going to put India into uh, a list that has only about three other nations if this mission were to succeed. You know, how, how important is this for India to succeed today? It is very important. See, we, we are on the path of becoming a $5 trillion economy. And space exploration is one major, major undertaking of uh, any nation which wants to become an economic powerhouse. India has all the ingredients. It has all the wherewithal necessary for becoming that sort of a powerhouse. And uh, the, the economic returns of undertaking space exploration are immense. Right. Uh, India should therefore uh, take this uh, with utmost pride and uh, you know go on to build much superior much advanced missions hereafter